Hi guys. It is a cloudy, gloomy day here, literally in the collapse of uh, civilization here on Wednesday, March 29th, here in the great state of Texas, where uh, the power company has shut down the power. And the reason stated, literally the reason stated, is there are too many people moving in, so we are upgrading the grid uh, here in the great state of Texas to make it more reliable. And I notice my battery light flashing on this camera. So I've already done uh, one uh, rant today from medium.com. But uh, this one, many versions of this uh, story. I'm just uh, going to read, see if we can get through the first half of it. You can find many versions. This is The Guardian. The Guardian. Uh, Italy-sized chunk of, of Gulf of Mexico to be auctioned off by the U.S. for oil drilling. Hmm. An enormous swath of the Gulf of Mexico, spanning an area the size of Italy, will be auctioned off for oil and gas drilling on Wednesday morning. As I am talking, uh, in the latest blow to Joe Blow Biden's increasingly frayed reputation on dealing with the climate crisis. Biden's Department of the Interior is offering up a vast area of the central and western Gulf of Mexico, including plunging deep water reaches for drilling projects that will stretch out over decades, despite scientists' urgent warnings that fossil fuels must be rapidly phased out if the world is to avoid disastrous global heating. The auctions also come despite Joe Biden's own pre-election promise to halt all drilling on federal lands and waters. In all, 73.3 million acres, otherwise known as 30 million hectares, an area roughly the size of Italy, will be made available to drilling companies. Less than one month before the 13th anniversary of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill disaster. Yes, the sale, known as Lease 259, has the potential to extract more than one billion barrels of oil and 4.4 trillion cubic feet of gas over the next 50 years, according to the federal government. The auctions come just two weeks after Biden's administration approved the controversial Willow Project, a drilling endeavor in the remote tundra of Alaska's Arctic that will remove more than 600 million barrels of oil over its lifetime. And the two actions now have caused major alarm among those in favor of a livable climate, including Biden's usual although I would say now former allies. This is Ben Jealous, executive director of the Sea Era Club. Quote, For the first half of his presidency, Joe Biden led on climate with trans a transformative vision. But in the second half, he seems to be signaling a disastrous climate U-turn. And then, of course, they, uh, you, you know, they, I'm not going to get into all this about this bullshit Inflation Reduction Act, uh, you know, talking, you know, how, how Biden is whining that his, that his hand is being forced uh, to this by this Planet Saving Inflation Reduction Act. 
that uh, uh, it's not my fault. Uh, so he, he, so he comes up with this planet-saving way to save the planet, and then he whines that it's not his fault that the planet is being destroyed uh, as part of the compromise he made in, in this in, this bullshit inflation reduction act. Uh, the bottom line is it makes no fucking difference, guys. Do you get it? it all, all of this political, uh, you know, hot potato, it's his fault, it's his fault, it's his fault. The, uh, the global corporatocracy always wins. And, uh, I, I mean, what this latest uh, bullshit is, uh, auctioning off an Italy-sized piece of the Gulf of Mexico, can you say deep water horizon disaster on steroids waiting to happen? Uh, what this is, uh, it, it is, is not a frying pan or the fire. This is Joe Biden and, and the rest of the uh, nefarious they uh, keeping us in the frying pan and the fire. As Joe Biden uh, goes right on opening up uh, huge swaths of our public lands to more fossil fuel, uh, more and more and more fossil fuel. Uh, production. Uh, at the same time, he is opening up more and more and more of our federal public lands to this bullshit renewable energy. Uh, you, you know, it's, it, this is an all-out assault. Uh, on our public lands. Joe Biden, if anybody's not aware of this, is a lying sack of shit corporate whore. He is a, a, a completely... Uh, anybody who does not think that Joe Biden uh, d doesn't have Alzheimer's. Uh, he is a befuddled a uh, little tool of the global corporatocracy, uh, you know, the old uh, dangling uh, him around on his puppet strings. The, the guy has no balls, he has no spine, he is a ballless, spineless, uh, demented old geezer, 100% in the pocket of both the oil and gas industry, and these other new the, these other new kids on the energy block. It, it, does anybody fail to understand this? I don't see. I, I they, you know, even in the Guardian, this is still presented as a frying pan or the fire. Am I the only person on this planet uh, pointing out it is no longer fossil fuels versus this bullshit renewable clean green energy? It is both the frying pan and the fire. I'm probably talking to myself. Nope. Let's just get a few quotes from some of Joe Biden's former, uh, former uh, defenders. This is keeping up with this fellow from the Sierra Club, Ben Jealous. I love that name. Quote, if this continues, all of the good Biden has done for the future, there you go, all of the good yeah, that Joe Biden has done for the future will be undone by Biden himself. If he is making a political calculation, he's making a wrong one. He is breaking a major promise on drilling, and by going back on his word, he will inspire many 
young, and I would say young and old people, to stay at home rather than voting in 2024. His decisions appear to be rooted in the political and economic calculus of the last century, not this one. And uh, I'm thinking this fellow is right. Uh, you better believe that Donald Trump and Don and uh, this Ron DeSantis are both cheering this on. And of course, whether if Trump or uh, DeSantis were in the White House, the very same thing would be happening. But uh, Trump and DeSantis both understand that uh, this backstabbing, hypocritical piece of shit, Joe Biden, is just handing them uh, more votes. Uh, God. Uh, and there's also a separate, even larger tract of the Gulf of Mexico known as Lease 257 uh, has been enmeshed in a legal battle and will also, uh, you know, so this, this is getting ready to double. Uh, so... Uh, this is George Torgan, an attorney at Earth Justice, uh, quote, these leases were brought back to life by the Inflation Reduction Act, but there was no legal reason to offer almost the entire Gulf of Mexico to the oil and gas uh, industry. This is locking in decades of fossil fuel use when we should be heading in another direction. It is out of step with what Biden himself has called the existential threat of climate change. And let's close with Alex Ruain, a NASA climate scientist and lead IPCC author. Quote, the truth is Earth does not care about politics. It cares about greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Even since the last, I don't know if this is, might, might have meant ever since the, or even since the last IPCC report in 2021, we have put a substantial chunk of the carbon budget into the atmosphere action and inaction are both choices and at present we are getting closer every day to those temperature targets yep 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 <sighs>